Thank you so much for turning in, tuning in today and um, I'm very happy to have you there listening to me. Uh, today we'll talk about something very important, you know, money is everything, you know, it's not just the root of all evil, but money sometimes saves us from evil. So we talk about something very interesting and going out and coming in, what makes people wake up in the morning and uh, when alarm rings at 5 a.m. people are struggling to, to move on and to get something else there to help them move on with their lives. And sometimes we get stuck and we are able to progress in life uh, simply because we are of the situations that we have uh, due to connections or having the right people in the right place. My name is Ede Tutu. I'm the host of the Success Stories and I will be telling you about career networking tips. How do you get the right people to help you move on? Career networking is about getting the right people to help you succeed in your career. An African proverb says that a tree cannot make a forest and it's a, 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 a broom, a broomstick cannot sweep the house. You need a bunch of broom to, you know, to sweep your house and make your house clean. And so if you stand alone as a tree, when there, are st when there is a storm or maybe there is a mighty wind coming from somewhere, maybe the soil is having a problem, you are at the risk of falling because there is no other tree around you to help you. That's why people stronger and successful people look out for other people to help them, to, you know, to pull, give them that boost that they need, that boost that they need to, you know, to increase and expand and increase and get better in their career and uh, also upscale their success. So this study is very important. This today's discussion is very important to anyone out there. Maybe you are a student, maybe you're already in your early career level, maybe you're at your advanced career level, at any level of your life, maybe you're in business or anywhere or at any level, you need networking because you will not be able to do it alone. Think of it that there are people out there who are doing things that you don't know that may help your business, maybe in marketing or customers and, and the rest of them. Like in early, in late last year, 20, 2019, around December, November, December, I decided to start business networking and I was traveling through the city of Sheffield and up to Rotterdam, Rotterdam, the round South Yorkshire to attend career networking. And in most of those meetings, we got to see the way the way exchange of business cards and exchange of ideas that helped me and even affected my ability to start a success stories production. I was always having an idea of you know getting out to talk to people, you know, sharing my passion and helping to people to develop. But when after attending that success that, that business meeting, I knew it was right time for me to start my success story production. So current networking is very essential for you to increase, even increase your finances or even increase your great your customer satisfaction. Here are the 10 tips that I have for you today to increase your career networking. One, you have to include the right people in your career list. When you're planning a networking event for a networking event, you don't just prepare to say, oh, I'm just going for a networking event. You have to be sure and ready to know the people you are going to meet. Probably write down the, the list of their names and then get and prepare within that list. So that when you get to that meeting, maybe it's a conference, maybe it's a seminar, maybe it's an unofficial event, you get to them a birthday party, you can turn a birthday party into a career networking event if you know what to do. Include the right people, make a list of the right people that you want, people that can help you, maybe maybe to, to, to increase your salary, to increase your customer. Okay, this set this person will increase my customer numbers, and this person will increase my you know, the num my finances, this person will help me to you know in increase or you know, better the quality of my brand image. The, all these people, you have them in the list and what, what exactly are these people going to do in your life? You don't just network with anybody, so you have to network with the right people. Now, the second point is that keep in touch with your network. Keep in touch with your network. You don't just say, you know, you get in there and then, you know, just leave it out. No, get in touch with the people. After you have reached out to the people and then you come back, you have to stay in touch. Send an email, or, you know, make sure that you get in touch with the people. And you now, just reminding them again, I'm the one that did this, I'm the one that we met a few days ago. And then send them this email, maybe a personalized email that will help you to, you know, to, you know, to keep that loop, that relationship. And then the third one you need to do is to give something back. Give something back to the person or in your network. Let's say you have a professor that you're helping, that's helping you to grow in your career. Maybe you're a researcher and you need a, there's a professor out there. By giving out to that professor, that professor is helping you to boost your career and you're helping that professor in a way. It becomes a win-win. 
And there's that thing means that that promise will be helped with him to help you mind to open doors to better opportunities. I saw a very simple example that happened in my career as well. After my PhD, I you know I was trying to you know do things to help me change and increase my and improve as well as I prepare to launch into the world of you know presentation and also work and get a job for myself. But there's this lady that I found out that she was interested in me. She was interested in Africa research database that we developed. And uh, one day I went to the office and I said, I told her, look, I don't know how, why you're really interested in me, but I'm very happy that you're interested in me. I'm so happy. But I know I have to give something back to you. Is there anything that you have to do? Do you have any job? And, you know, tax is struggling with I know you're a lecturer and you have a lot of things, meeting up with research community and also meeting up with deadlines of teaching. And you also have a personal life. I think there's something out there that you will need someone to help you. Say, oh, yes. You're right, and there, there's something out there. There's a research I'm planning to, I'm been struggling with, and there's no reports, no time to complete. But anyway, I'll let you know when it's time. Right, I left, I left. I said, Thank you. Whenever you're ready, just let me know. I'm available, I can help you. You don't have to pay me for it. Do you know the interesting part of it? With that, a few days after, like a few weeks after, she sent me an email to tell me, Look, I am I'm ready for that stuff that you were talking about. I'm ready for that stuff that you're talking about. So, and, and, and this email contained an, an opportunity, a project opportunity. What I asked her to give me to do for her free of charge, she decided to, you know, to pay me for it. And I said, no, you don't have to. Say, no, look, this project is sponsored. So they, she paid me and I worked on that project for, I was on that project for about a month. So when you think of what to offer to people, think, of how you can better the lives and the value of the people that are helping you, it increases that network, increases our ability for you to reach out to more people. And when we talk about career networking, it doesn't have to be the high profile people, it could be your colleagues. Another example I have to give to you now is my friend. When I had my first job after graduation uh, from the Federal Sports Surveying, I graduated to, uh, when I was preparing to you know, practice as a land surveyor. I didn't have a job, I was just like going around and uh, talking to people and I met old friends and I started doing something with a friend, I kept that contact because from school we were friends. So when I moved back to my city, he's from my city as well, so we worked together and we were trying to do something together. So just, it's the day, a strange day, I made a phone call and where are you? He told me I'm so, so pleased and we, I decided to meet him at that place. And when I met him, he turned out that that was the man, the former Soviet general of the state. And that first was, you know, well, after I waited for a while, and, you know, he noticed that I was really disturbing. I wanted to see this guy, so I would go back to a place I was doing a, a small thing so for myself to keep the body and soul together. And so the general called me in, and uh, because he, he heard about me, and we had a discussion, a little chat. Immediately, the next day, the next week, I was I had a job because so the general saw me, was interested in me, asked me what I could do. And I told him, and then from there he took me to the office, they met, met the current Swedish general, and that was how I got a landed major. I never met a Swedish general before, but because I had a friend, I serviced that friendship, and that friendship in the end earned me a job. The fourth thing you need to do is to keep track of your network. Be sure that you are out there, make sure that you're keeping the record of the people. You don't have to miss them. Keep sending them email. Remember, remember their birthday parties. Remember their major event. Remember the important events. You show up when they have a party. Show up when they invite you and things to you know to join them to celebrate with them. Send them personalized card, Christmas cards, and uh, you know send them Easter card events, whatever events that they have. You know show up there. Send email. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you feel beyond the career. They have other personal lives. That you're okay? Are you okay today? I just thought to check on you. That would be very good. The fifth thing you need to think about is network, online network. There are many social media networks there, like Facebook. Facebook is not all about posting a picture, you know, showing uh, funny things about things. You can use Facebook as a career point. I landed my first speaking uh, speaking uh, a job, my first speaking uh, public speaking job from Facebook when people saw what I did. And uh, just by posting my videos and you know sharing what is happening and you know what I'm doing, what I'm able to do, people saw it on Facebook and connected me to people calling me to join their meetings and you know I, I other things and I got con con connections just because of Facebook. And the other ones like LinkedIn, LinkedIn can also help you as well. Make a list of these sites and use them to increase your visibility. It will be very good. Make sure that in this group, you know, just they, you know the people, the right people. They would be other people. You can have like a thousand people, a thousand following, a thousand membership, or a thousand people that you subscribe to or to follow them. 
but select the best ones that you need and say, this person will help me in this area of my life, this person will help me in this area of my life. So we're talking about career. It's working it's in every area. It could be someone to help in your marriage. It could be someone to help you in your business. It could be someone to help in your personal life, you know, to lose weight. Maybe you've seen someone that did it very well. You can also make ask this person to help you and build this relationship. The sixth thing I have to tell you, the sixth point is attend networking events. Networking events are so important. You have to be there. People need to meet you. There was a time I went to, I was trying, I sent an email, I needed a training. Uh, I wanted to take extra training somewhere. I was sending emails around companies like telling them, look, I need this training. This training to increase my, my career profile. And this training is important to me so I can get my, my registration, my professional registration. Nobody was replying to my emails. And everywhere I sent, were, no one was coming back, they were not accepting me. So I decided to join the dinner. The dinner was very expensive. I didn't mind. I paid for the dinner and I attended the dinner. The dinner was an eye opener. The interesting thing that happened was that I sat on the same table with the very man that I've been sending emails to and he wasn't talking to me. And, and he wasn't replying to my email. But this time I was just beside him. And so I introduced myself and we had a lot of a long conversation and everyone there. The interesting thing was that I was the, the lowest candidate person in that, in that, on that table. Every other person with the director, CEOs, and the rest of them. But it's just so interesting to me that I could sit with them. You know what happened after the dinner? He replied my email. Because he asked me, I told him I've been sending emails down, but I haven't received any reply. The next day he replied my email and he directed me to the place I wanted him to direct me to. So it's very important when you meet people, meeting people face to face is different from social media. A lot of people will respond to you more when they meet you and build that relationship. And don't forget, collect business cards. Give them, give and receive business cards as well. When you give business cards, make sure we are attending business, a, a, a career of networking events. Don't just walk in there casually. Get a business card, go on with your business card. And then give out to people. Get, take it and receive it. This is a trick about business card. When someone gives you a business card, don't just take it straight and put it to your pocket. Look at the business card and I'll try to look at the title. Ask questions. Oh, sure. so you do this? Oh, you do you do you do podcasting? Oh, that's very interesting. Then the person will feel you know feel proud of what you're saying. Oh, tell me about this thing on your business card. Look at the things, the, the, the items, the piece services the person providing the business card. Ask question about it. Engage the person in the in, in the discussion. Discuss so much. Show your interest, your passion. Then you'll be surprised. There will be a connection between what you do and what that person does. And that can end you something that you did not expect. The second thing you have to do is to follow up. After receiving a business card, make sure that you follow up. Follow up by phone call, follow up by email, follow up by connecting to the people in different ways. As much as you can, you know, share their work on social media. Let them know that you can. Let them know that you've come into their network. Timely, you know, follow up and getting to know how the people are after receiving their business cards is very important. The eighth thing you need to do is to smile. Even if you are faking it, it doesn't matter. When you are at an event, make sure your appearance will be very attractive. Not attractive in a negative way. Maybe seductive? No. We talk about, we're not talking about being seductive in a, in a networking meeting. But make sure that you look your best. Dressing the makeup, the makeup, everything. Make sure that you're on a point where you're in a networking event. Give a smile to people, give a handshake. You know, go around and talk to people. Just be open, just enjoy the moment. Someone will be interested in you. You know now people really want they want people when all these career skills or employers, they are looking for people that are friendly, people who are able to connect with team team. So if you don't have if you don't have these team skills or this networking skill, like, it will be difficult for you because you'll not be able to even even, even an interview or even to even when you land a job, you may not be able to manage your team or to stay with your team. So even when you, when you have a job. Your networking skills outside will help you to build your career or your business or to retain your job in your office. You may likely have to gain people, knowledge of people in different fields. But so this is very important. Keep a smiling life, a, a, a smiling life or a, keep smiling when you are in the meeting, in the networking meeting and stay positive and you will always get it there. And then number nine, be yourself. Be yourself. You may be an extrovert, you may be an introvert, it does not matter. The extroverts, you know, the extrovert need an introvert to talk to. So you sit down and listen to the extrovert talk. But at some point you have to ask questions as an introvert. 
and then ask them maybe one question at a time. People will like you for who you are because the extrovert will like you to be in your company because you'll be there to listen to the story. So you wouldn't say because I'm an introvert, I don't like people and I have to go and do my own. Make yourself available for the extrovert to vent all the talking on top of your head. And you ask questions from time to time and then well, and picking important points and asking questions. They will enjoy your company because they know you're always there to listen to them. So be careful, don't lose your personality just because you are trying to get to someone. Don't lose yourself. Be yourself. Be happy with who you are. And there's someone out there who will like you for who you are. Seek out a mentor, a coach. That's the last point. No? Seek out a mentor. Seek out a coach. Seek out someone that is there that will be there to guide you every day in your job search, in your career change, in your advancement. And make sure that you service your mentors and you know, tell them what is there and always contact them. Keep them updates, updates on how you're progressing, where you're making progress, where you are losing it. Be open to your mentor. A mentor should be someone that you trust. You can get a paid mentor, a paid coach, you can get a family member or someone a free a supervisor or a friend out there you think that is doing better than yourself in your own in that area that you're struggling with. So these people will be there to help you. So today I've talked to you, I've given you ideas or tips on how to have a very successful network in its working event or to have a very successful view, a successful network. Here is a lesson you have to take back. I said it before, but I will remind you again. A tree cannot make a forest. A sick of boom cannot sweep a house. You need a bunch. If you stand alone, you will fall alone. If you rise alone, you will fall alone. The Bible has already said that two people cannot make a bed warm a house when it takes two people to warm up a bed. And so you will not be able to succeed alone. Whether you're a self-made man or wherever you are, and to meet happy people. You can say I'm an extrovert, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I don't know, I like just to be myself. You lose it all again. Nobody likes someone that is withdrawn. When you withdraw yourself from people, you withdraw yourself from opportunities. You withdraw yourself from help. You withdraw yourself from potential finances or money or growth or development that you would have received. Irrespective of how you are, how you were born, go out there and meet people. I wish you a very good day and I wish that you succeed as you network. Increase your network. Don't say to tomorrow. Start your current network today and you will succeed. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Edith Tutu, the host of Success Story. Bye.